Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. What's up, open top? She was good to me the other night. This one. She was real good to me the other night. Let's get a few knots to see how good. If anything. Oh. Yeah, let's just open her up. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's what we're talking about right here, y'all. Right here. I like wires. Why did I just do that? I don't want your rice, bro. All right, we'll just toss everything down here to this end. And just back the truck up, pick her up. Get all that cat wire. That thing feels full. It is. It is. Oh, this BX cable, it's full. All of this. Oh, that's a big extension cord. Oh, that's a that's not extension cord. That is a uh, HDMI cable. Oh, very fascinating. Get all my wires. Nothing in these though. Oh well, we'll take them anyway. Oh, these junction boxes. Yeah, it's like when these uh, these build to suite, build to suit, or whatever. Uh, when they come in here, they just basically uh, rip all the guts out. Oh, there's that pipe. That pipe that I was missing. Got my pipe. It's a couple of those pipes. Oh, there's a lot in here, y'all. That's a lot, a lot of crap. And then, reason I'm doing this instead of getting the truck right now is because uh, I don't want the truck next to this dumpster while I'm doing all this. And then somebody rolls up, you know, I want to start asking questions and hating and what have you. That way I can just roll up, load up, and go! Oh. Uh. Yeah, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff in here. Uh. Huh. Yeah, this baby is oh. Electrical crap. That's empty. That's a broken bulb. Pat. Pat. That's all empty, too. Shoot! All right. Wire, wire everywhere. Yeah, I've been stripping too, y'all. Stocking up. 
There's a little battery in there. Yeah, they ripped out all the wires. Gonna run all new wires. Hey, I'll take it. It'd be nice if they just put it in a big old box for me, but that would just be like in a perfect world. <sighs> okay. Okay. And we've amassed quite the little pile of scrap, y'all. For shizzle. Cool. <sighs> All right. None of that that eight gauge crap I found that last time. Twenty like twenty pounds of it. <laughs> I got about halfway through stripped. <sighs> okay, look at that, y'all. Big old pilot. Duh! All right, I'm gonna go get the truck and load her up. Ah! Ooh! <sighs> All right, look at that, y'all. What is that? Look like TV. Uh, TV mounts. Uh, barbecue chips. Uh, huh. Never seen anything quite like that. Interesting. I don't know. Looks like there's a little electronic board in there, but it looks like all plastic to me. It's like a piece of something, maybe. Oh, well, let's get. Oh. All right. Something over there. What that is? Let's see. That's a piece of steel. Pretty heavy. Plate of some sort. That looks like brass. Maybe. That looks like it's a stove top. I bet that's stainless. Maybe, maybe 304. It's got a little rust on it. Uh, that's aluminum. You can tell that right now. That's a piece of a ladder. What? There's the rest of it. Why well, cut just a piece? Huh? Big old logs and such. It's a box. What? I think I see ya. Yep. Look at that, y'all. The freaking jack. There's a jack down here. Oh, wait, my big guy. Oh, it broke. What is it? Rapid pump? Oh, Pittsburgh. That's a Harbor Freight special right there. I wonder if you can fix that. Maybe, maybe. Let's look at the box. There's nothing in there. Ew, it smells like dirty tramps. Ah! Ah! I saw a little something, something. Oh, a little cat wire. Alright, well, hey, it is what it is. 
<laughs> wow! Oh no, it's a stick! Oh. oh, it's one of those umbrella dealios. The sea. I think that's aluminum. So do tennis shoe. Sticky right there. What's wrong with it? I wonder if I jump off a building, you think I'll like, uh, like a parachute? Oh, probably not. <sighs> there ain't nothing wrong with that. Somebody probably just got a new one. Oh, it does seem to be kind of, no, well, shoot. Well, I don't have a table with a hole in it though, so. Oh, it is what it is. You know, they say there's silver in these things. That's a big breaker, though. Hey, 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 hey. Ho! Whoa, bike. Whoa! Whoa, girl! I think I saw something in there, though. Oh, what is that? Looks like Dodge Ram caps. I can sell those. There's only three of them. Yeah, I can definitely probably sell those if I shizzle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've even sold like like Mustang cabs. Like it's insane. Like that crap sells, man. That crap sells. Dick. Y'all gotta check this out. I rolled by this place. I saw all this stuff. Look at that. Somebody's going out of business. All those wires. I see I see computers. So this I might keep an eye out on this dumpster over here. <laughs> Sadly, this is what we see, but this could be a good thing for scavengers. Crazy. Ah. What's up, leaves? Oh, what is this? Seattle's best coffee. Best before November 2019. We all know that's a crock of whatever, but oh, I still have a ton of coffee, yo. I can't exactly donate expired coffee. Just for just for S's and G's. Yeah, that's and it's decaf. Who wants that? Ugh. Ooh, check that out. It's a pretty little picture thing down there. Heavy too. 
I don't know, that's kind of cute. It looks like somebody tried to do a little miter project or something. That's kind of cool. It's actually really cool to be honest with you. Like, I can make that thing look really dope. Decap. If a stoop. It was attached to something, but it's it's forever down there under the leaves. Let's see here. Let's see a sign. What does it say? Uh, Nana and Papa's hideaway. Papa's hideaway. That's funny because Papa is my mom's dad, my grandpa, and Nana is what my nieces call my mom. Nana and Papa's hideaway. Yeah, because I have Granny and Papa, and then Nana and then Papa. Well, the, the kid I was called by that, Papa. Huh. That's cool. Oh, that's real cool. Somebody spent money on that. I know there's a, a Nana. Uh, and a pat ball out there. All right, let's get let's get out of here. I ain't I ain't all about digging and digging and digging, uh, especially in uh, that crap. Uh, oh, here we go. Do it. There's some of those little coffee, uh, that's what I have a ton of. But boy, I tell you what, do not try to use that froth milk stuff in the Keurig. I bought one of those little cups, you know, the reusable cups. And uh, the coffee is okay, but the froth, don't do it. Oh God, don't do it. <sighs> Ooh, check it out, what we got over here, y'all. They put out a bunch of Diet Coke. <sighs> 2022. Huh. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't even drink Diet Coke. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Eh. Mm. Maybe if it makes, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Was there a network box down there? Oh, Looks like it. Oh, it's a U-verse box. Huh, I'll take it, I'll take it. <sighs> Set it right there for now. So, as not to break, oh, there goes something. <sighs> D-Link. Gigabits, gigabit switch. Delta Golf Tri Sierra Dash 1016 Delta. Hmm, looks fancy. Alright. Well, fancy is not my middle name. Alright. Alright, anything interesting in this big heavy bag? No, I see a lot of sawdust. Alright, let's get the F up out of here. Huh. Oh, pardon, pardon my friends, y'all. Oh. <sighs> Damn, baby, what you do to your hell? He ain't no good. He ain't no good. Oh, what's up, keyboard stuck to the wall? Stuff. Ah. 
Oh, Brad, check it out. A bunch of wood sticks. I like wood sticks. Ooh, what got over here? What y'all think? VCR? DVD player? Let's see. It is a forehead hi-fi VCR by Sanyo. And it's leaking water. That's always a good sign when you're looking to buy used electronics. Make sure water will leak from it. Let's see. What that is, that bicycle rack? Okay. Oh no. I don't know what that is. What's up with the, the bow and arrow? Get off my stick! Get that. I see some stuff back here. What the heck is that? Zipper bags. Huh. I've never seen anything like that before. There must be industrial size reusable bags for the grocery store. Oh. It's what a Megatron grocery shops with. Oh, it's like a crazy. Whoa. Bricks. Sticks. Who? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hold up. I think we got some cameras up in here. Hold on. Under the ding dongs and Twinkies. All right. Oh yeah, there's cameras in here. What? Bottle water and a battery. All right. I'll take it. Find a box here. There's some wires too. Alright. Got a little box. Uh, cameras. Cameras and such. Huh. <laughs> Try to be a little somewhat careful. Uh, not too heavy with that. There's a power cord. Oh, there's a bunch of power cords. More power. Oh my gosh. How do I find this little power cord? Uh, grab the water. Nothing wrong with it. Just bottle water, y'all. Uh, A piece. We'll get the piece. There's wires. Oh, that's copper. That's stripping wire right there. I'll take it. I'll take it. This, not so much. This feels cheap. You. Oh, no. I think that's cat wire. Oh, yeah. 
All right, cool. This feels a little different. That's all. And sometimes it feels, it does feel a little different. There's some wires there. All right, party on, bro. I wonder if like people are catching on and like, hey, let's leave Mike a little bit of scrap wires and some uh, bottled water. Oh man, it's like full of stuff, but it's all mixed with stuff too. Well, we'll just grab the whole thing, go through it. Do what we can, where we can. Nothing in there. More copper. Oh yeah. Uh, copper is the name of the game, folks. Oh, shoot. All right, I think we got it. All right, I gotta be careful. This is the infamous dumpster that I actually slipped and fell right out of. And then that camera up there is the one that got me on TikTok some dude that I it's so weird like I was at work somebody's like hey isn't that you falling out of a dumpster I'm like oh my gosh yeah like two weeks ago yep on the internet it's like everything else <sighs> let's not fall out <sighs> oh well good afternoon scavengers it is beautiful outside some of y'all might be wondering, Mike, or you're not wondering, but you're knowing, Mike, you're really cool with that thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it actually worked out pretty well. Uh, this little table I have right here, this is my little, my little setup, my stripping table, you know, and then the hole that I feed the wire through on the outside was big enough, so I just kind of plopped it in there and just kind of, you know, got instant shade at the on the back of the truck. Because it is starting to get warm out, y'all. It's Texas. But they say warm and humidity is good for the uh, the uh, the uh, pandemic because the virus doesn't like warm and humid. Well, welcome to Southeast Texas, y'all. But uh, anyways, anyway, so I went ahead and uh, cleaned up everything that we got here. I got my wires over here, my stripping wires, you know, all this. This is a big old piece we pulled out of that uh, aluminum conduit, some extension cords, some stuff just ready to strip as is. Over here, this is all the uh, uh, the uh, cat wires that we got. Got a whole bucket full, probably about 10 pounds. Uh, not too bad there. Yeah, like I said, over here, we're going to strip all this, add it to the, uh, the bucket I'm working on right over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just hoarding that copper, you know what I mean? All right, uh, well, here at Big Mike's, we got the uh, the uh, the electrical department, got us a couple batteries, got a Siemens frame EG circuit switch breaker Medelio. Like I was uh, saying, I'll probably take it apart, take a look inside. Someone said that the contacts are silver, which would be super cool. Uh, got an AT&T, it's a, uh, I guess a modem? Yeah, modem thing, thingamajigger. <laughs> Uh, don't know what these are. It says P-O-E and L-A-N. Something electronic for sure. And then this D-Link right here. It's a, uh, I looked up the part number. It's the, uh, the little 16 port. Uh, brand new. It's like, I want to say like a hundred bucks, but they're selling online used for like $20, $30. So yeah, I probably works. They probably just got new stuff. That's how a lot of these companies operate. They get new stuff and toss out the old stuff, but the old stuff probably still works. Rocket M5 Ibiquiti Networks. Ibiquiti? I don't know what Ibiquiti means. Uh, a couple of cameras. Decent cameras. HIK Vision. Uh, the lenses are great shape. The screens themselves aren't damaged. Everything looks, looks pretty good. Uh, may just be something internally wrong with it, like electronically. Uh, but there's people out there. I know for a fact the electronic guy I sell stuff to, he fixes these things, so... Uh, there's probably may still be some pretty pretty decent life left in that I uh, went ahead and just grabbed those bottles of water uh, just hang on to those uh, always good to have especially times like this uh, 
the uh, the jack you can see up there I guess you would call it like the yoke or the neck or whatever where the uh, where the stick goes in a hole it uh it's broken I don't know if there's I mean maybe a band a super duty band clamp but I didn't even have the actual stick for it either so probably just gonna have to go ahead and scrap that out same thing with these uh, TV mounts over here they're really nice TV mounts but uh, they don't have the part I think they're supposed to be like hooks you know that you put on the back of like the monitors and the TVs and they hook onto these I don't know there may be some universal ones I'll have to do a little research but if not they're still pretty decent they're heavy said 200 pound capacity so that's that's some legit stuff right there uh this little hoop delete hoops over here um not quite ready gonna scrap don't really want to scrap that out i'm thinking i could probably find something of use like big files cabinet or books or i don't know i don't know just hang on to it for a minute anyways uh we got our aluminum over here already sorted out got the little uh a ladder got some cast aluminum over here and then uh all that conduit that's aluminum there uh we lucked out most of it was aluminum there's a little back there that's all the uh uh iron scrap back there but we did get quite a bit of aluminum over here even some of this bigger stuff so pretty legit there uh the uh the wheel cap covers for the dodge there's only three of them uh i'll have to look up online there's a part number here the chrysler number well, there's a many, many numbers, so I have to look it up. It says 20891 painted, uh, but like I was saying, I have sold like uh, when I found those uh, Mustang rims a while back. Uh, I popped the caps out, and uh, I think I got 50 bucks for them or something. And those were little; these are huge. So I'll have to look up and see what these go for. Don't know if I'll be able to sell all three because people probably don't need three. Maybe just sell them one each, and uh, you know, just see what they go for and then just try to put a decent price on it you know uh probably definitely be able to fit that in a medium flat rate for sure uh okay and then the uh the home decor department over here we got our uh our fancy little uh cast iron work with the uh with the frame it's actually very pretty but i think this would look so much more bad ass if uh you know it was like painted like a white with a black glaze and then this i don't know i don't know i don't know and then nana and papa's hideaway i think that is just but uh yeah anyways i think uh all in all it was a pretty successful evening out there guys uh weather's beautiful we're gonna go hit it again today <sighs> you know make a little room uh get some more scrap in there uh i actually have found out that there are scrap yards still open around here uh prices though i think they're getting like three cents a pound on iron at the moment which is i mean it's not absolutely terrible but at that those prices it's almost not worth to scrap it out so like i said you know i'm being more selective on the big stuff that i grab and then you know try to just stick with the heavier denser things that don't take up a whole lot of space you know like in the storage unit i got all those metal plates and everything that i found uh that don't take up a lot of space but weigh a lot you know pound for pound it's worth hanging on to uh so you know just doing what we can where we can mm. ah, dr pepper man you deserve this but uh anyways guys that is going to do it for this episode of dumpster diving uh i'm your host with absolute most mike the scavenger as always it was a total pleasure be sure to like the video subscribe to my channel uh share it with your friends uh shout out to uh all the special folks out there buying that merch i appreciate that guys t-shirt stickers what have you down below go check it out teespring mike the scavenger uh a lot of people would ask about my ebay page uh i do have an ebay page it's the same thing mike the scavenger i do post some things up there on from time to time or whatever but uh i've been doing a lot of like mostly people just contacting me like through the email uh the mike the scavenger at gmail.com uh, about interested in purchasing things from the videos uh you know if you guys are interested hit me up i can't guarantee i'll have everything for you and like i said i do have an electronics guy who uh you hear locally you know awesome dude whatever just easier to deal like that but uh you know hit me up if you're interested like these these dodge caps you know uh we'll figure out what they go to i know they go to a big one probably yeah it's an eight lug so it's gonna be a big truck the dodge ram for sure definitely a ram but uh well duh it's got the ram on there dude <laughs> but anyway guys already uh 
I'm gonna go get this video posted. And then y'all are gonna watch it. And then I'm gonna eat some lunch. Maybe take a little nap. And then uh, go hit it again. Y'all have a lovely day. Take care. Oh yeah, wash some hands. What we got here, y'all?